You will have good days and you'll have bad days, but you will always learn some more or something new and you will learn more overall on bad days than good days. People are often afraid of moving forward and no wonder, but you should be way more afraid of not moving forward. And so if you get that hell behind you, it's like, well, do I want to go there? Well, I don't have the effort to the energy. I'm not even sure that it's the right thing. It's like, well, do I want to go back there? It's like, no, definitely not that. If you don't feel that hell, then you're not nearly as motivated as you could be. The most important step we'll ever take in life is our next one. A lot of us get our feet stuck in concrete. We get our feet stuck in concrete because we're afraid to make enemies. We're afraid to speak to our mind. We're afraid of being in that group of people. And when you walk away, we're afraid of what they might say behind your back. All that fear clouds your brain, clouds your thinking. One thing in life, you're gonna always have haters. Embrace them. If you can walk on water, trust me, your haters are saying you can walk on water because you can't swim. Learn one thing, shut the noise out. Embrace the fact that people don't like you. It means you're doing something right. Stay hard, stay in the fight. The one thing that you have to understand about mental toughness, there is no one thing. You know what? Every time you decided not to take the right path, you know why you didn't do it? Because it was too damn hard. That's why. That's why people don't take the right path. That's why you ask, what's the one thing? Boy, don't we wish it was that simple. There's no one rule to success. There's no one rule to winning. Those rules are endless. Mental toughness is a continuing battle what's going on in your head. It's time for you to take a deep dive into the deeper parts of yourself. Uncover the greater parts. So don't judge your success by the masses, what they think of you. Judge yourself by what God told you to do. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishment the scroll, I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. And those words, I am the master of my fate, I am the captain of my soul, became a mantra for me. What it said is, I am responsible for the choices that I make in my life. To the future think for a moment. Future think a year from now. If you kept the things in your life that you're complaining about, the things in your life that keep in pain, the things in your life that are stealing and robbing your peace, how is your life gonna be a year from now? Right now, I picture your life by just removing those things. Maybe it's one thing, maybe it's two things. Removing those things, how much free is your life going to be? I think that among the things that prevent us from acting is the fear of failure. And if you've already failed, you don't want to fail again. The pain of that, the disappointment, the fear of loss is another thing. Because many times when we do those things that we know we need to do, we feel that we might lose somebody that we love very much and care about. We don't want to hurt anybody. Many of us don't act because we want other people's approval. We want everybody to like us and to accept us. And that's not possible. But unless you know three things. Number one, who are you and what your value is? Number two, what is your purpose here in life? And number three, what is your destiny when you're done here? Maybe you need to rename your storm. Yeah, it sucks but this is going to be sanctified. Yeah, it's hard, 
but somehow healing is coming out of this. I told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble. Can I say it a different way? In this world you will have a storm. Down moments and you're going to have them. When that conversation starts talking to you and it's going to talk to you, what you will do is you can pull that out and read it and it will build you up. Life will knock you between the eyes. It will catch you on the blind side, come out of nowhere, stuff you can't anticipate. And so the first thing is the power of choice. Finish this sentence for me. I choose to be blissful rather than blank. I choose to be blissful rather than blank. What would your answer be? One of the emotions I challenge you to experience more of in life is bliss. You know, we are the calibration of maybe the five emotions we experience on a regular basis. And so, if you're experiencing depression, frustration, worry, fear, anxiety, pain on a regular basis, you're gonna have one life. If you're experiencing bliss and fulfillment and ecstasy and joy in, a, in your life and, and contribution, recognition and significance, if you're experiencing love, you experience those emotions, you have a totally different life. We have the power to choose which emotions we want to experience. Not making a choice is a choice. A non-decision is a decision. If you don't choose consciously to begin to experience the emotions you want, what are the five emotions that if you could choose them, you'd experience on a regular basis?